hotels, we write articles, we get criticised by Tories for asking uh, for our first year of funding. So happy for you to join with me, you can come and speak to them uh, at any time. Of course, you've refused uh, under your previous leader to join in any budget discussions or, 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 or debates. That's why you know, you're ended up with this silly amendment to the budget with the asking for uh, an increase and whatever rather than facing the facts that we lost 20 million. So look, all the, all the, the, uh, the motion is doing is pointing out that uh, you know, what we've pledged and what we've promised we've delivered on and it's a record of delivery and basically it is a promise of more. When I took over the council in 2010, you're absolutely uh, right about what we inherited. Uh, as a council, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that we spend £17 million uh, every single year before we start setting our budgets on PFI. Uh, we currently spend uh, £4.4 million on, on Parklands High School, £2 million on Wavertree uh, swimming baths, and I could go on and on. But more uh, importantly than that, there was deadlock in schemes, you know, individual schemes like the Epstein Theatre where, where no one was talking to them and they were taking out uh, legal action against the council because of the Liberal Democrats. No, no debate or discussion but legal action being taken against us by uh, the people who own the Eds Lane site. Project Jennifer, Murrabun, not happening, nowhere, going nowhere. Anfield, no project, no progress. The scheme in terms of either whether we built on Stanley Park or not, the regeneration of Anfield, not happening, not going anywhere. Dead as a doctor, <coughs> reinvigorated by this council, this administration, and building, not a screen, as Barry Kushner said. Absolutely. Uh, now a place to be proud of, as a place to actually want to go and live, and hot cakes, selling uh, housing. And I remember, you know, people being against us, in terms of uh, whether it be Finch Farm. Remember the stick we took over Finch Farm? Cunard building, it's still in fact indeed on uh, the Lib Dem Hocus Pocus Leaflets, saying that, you know, and, and this is a deal, one of the best deals, I think, you know, when we talk to people who are trying to buy it off us, and when we talk to people about what we've done there, I'm absolutely amazed by, by, by what we've done and the revenue that it's bringing into our city. And I remember uh, people against that. And you know, when we talk about the policies that we've delivered on and the manifesto commitments and pledges that we've delivered on, I'm telling you that without a Tory government, without a Tory government, our city would be flying. Our city would be flying. You know, I can talk about what this, what this previous uh, administration did, the Lib Dems, to this city. What they did. They actually use uh, money, literally millions, millions, hundreds of millions, billions of pounds and squandered it in, in order to actually drive council tax down for political gains. That's what they did. And they used neighbourhood renewal funds. Instead of regenerating neighbourhoods and transforming neighbourhoods, they did it in a way that replaced funding that we should have actually been raising ourselves. So we remember all that. We remember what we've inherited. Most importantly, we remember what we've delivered. A socialist council in action. Protecting people as much as we can and where we can. <coughs> and making sure that the growth and the money that we create goes in to support those people. Creating jobs, apprenticeships, schools, Delivery, look at the delivery, look at what we've done, five times. We smashed our pledges on housing, smashed them on schools, 14 new schools and more and more investment happening. On all of those things we've delivered more than any other council. And if you look at what we've protected, libraries, shore start centres, still open when others have got rid of them. Protecting people with the council tax support scheme, the citizen support scheme. Money to the credit unions, a million pounds. Money to the food banks, the Hope Fund, the Neighbourhood Fund. All supporting people within the city. All opposed by the Liberal Democrats and by the Greens. All of it supported by this administration who will continue and always will continue to deliver for the people of this
this city. And do you know what? <coughs> when we don't do that, that's when we should be shown the door. But people understand, especially the Liberal Democrats' role in the situation financially that we face. And we'll keep reminding them of that. But we'll keep telling people our promises have been kept 100%. We've got a record of delivery to be proud of, and there will be more of the same over the next four to five years. Yeah. All those in favour? Voting for the motion 68, none against, one abstention, the motion is carried. Thank you.